Good morning guys, welcome back to a vlog. Welcome back to the channel. Elephant in the room. I did get my hair done yesterday and I am so obsessed with it. Um, I went a little blonder, obviously. I just added some dimension because my hair was literally just brown one length and it was literally driving me crazy and I couldn't do that anymore. So <clears throat> I went to um, Raven and Sage in San Diego and I saw Kenzie. She's the sweetest, first of all. And second of all, she did amazing and I just, I love it so much. That's first rule of business. Second, hi. Happy Wednesday, it's the 20th today. Zeke slept until like 8 a.m. this morning, so it's 9 a.m. now. We're pretty much ready and we're gonna go get breakfast because why not if he slept in and we have time to go do something before his first nap. We're gonna do it. So we're gonna go to this place called Country Waffles that we've been to once actually when Julia, Bartram, and Keegan were here. Um, we haven't been there since, but it was so good and like I, we've just been wanting to go ever since and we haven't So we're gonna head out there go get some breakfast and then see whatever else the day has in store for us But I will vlog it whatever it is over the next couple days. But yeah house is a mess also So that's probably on the to-do to list today This reminds me of like my wedding hair because I got kind of a balayage like this right before the wedding um two years ago now so Eggs, chicken sausage, potatoes, pancakes, hungry baby. The meat lovers omelet with potatoes and pancakes. And coffee. Breakfast is done, it was so good. But I think I remember it being better the first time. Um, but it was still really good. They, like their portion sizes are so big. So we both saved half of it for breakfast tomorrow because it's a lot of food. And I'm stuffed. We're getting gas right now. It's 10 o'clock, and that was nice to have a little breakfast date. I see you, Tiki. Welcome to just, I guess, the next day in this vlog. <laughs> Are we surprised I didn't end up filming the rest of yesterday? That's coffee. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what did we end up doing yesterday? I think I took a few like mm. iPhone videos, but yeah. I didn't end up bringing my camera. Yeah. We went to the mall yesterday. A boo. We got a couple things. I got some more concealer that I needed that I've been out of. And then we just walked around for a little bit. We didn't do too much shopping. And then we went to the park last night. Went to the swings. Zeke loves the swings. And now that he's walking, he literally just walks all over the park and it's just the best. But there's like dogs running around literally everywhere there off leash. So we have to like be very careful with him. Obviously just in case a dog happens to run up to him. You never know. Today it's still pretty early. It's 8.30. He woke up pretty early today at like 6.30. And yesterday he woke up at like 8. So. <laughs> Whoa. So it's definitely a little different today. But. When he takes a nap, I probably need to head to the store, maybe like Whole Foods or Sprouts because he needs more milk. He also needs more snacks like puffs and stuff. <laughs> he knows that word. <laughs> and then later I need to go get my car smogged, which is so fun. And then I might go get a pedicure at my dad's shop. Hopefully I remember to take you guys along with all of that, but we will see. Dead mommy's phone. It is currently Saturday, so it's a solo momming weekend. Keiko works today and Saturday, so he'll be back on Monday. Just me and Ziki. <laughs> I love you. We're currently eating breakfast. We just came downstairs, and it's 8.30 almost. Just made Zeke some peanut butter toast, gave him some yogurt, and I'm making some eggs and a hash brown and probably some coffee. So Also, I just put dry shampoo in my hair, which is why this is a little white right here, but I'm still loving my hair a little lighter did so much for me and I love it. I don't even need to tell you. I wear this crew neck probably in every single video because it is so comfy. But it's from Brandy. The John Galt crew necks are the best. Yes, I'm wearing a San Diego crew and living in San Diego. Tourist of me, maybe. Sweats are a couple years old from Target, but I love them. Do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? <laughs> Do you want to say hi? <laughs> you want to show them your breakfast? Yummy. I used to cut them up in little tiny square pieces, but he loves the strips because he gets to just hold them and gnaw on them. <laughs> well, you don't really gnaw on things anymore because you got teeth, but you know what I mean. Cleanup crew. <laughs> You're so sweet. All right, I'm going to make some eggs. I just put some 
cheese on top and fry them like that and it is so good if you know me you know i like have a love-hate relationship with eggs some days i love them well let's be real i never really love them some days i can tolerate them some days they're the worst thing on the planet and make me want to throw up and that's like year round since i was like i don't know 10 maybe i try to eat them every day because i know they're so good for you and so beneficial but can't always do that a little bit of this 21 seasoning from trader joe's literally put this on anything and everything i burnt my eggs yesterday and they were not good and i did not end up eating them so i need to make sure i don't do that today that's a breaking point for me you know burnt eggs mm, no thanks i kind of want to make myself a coffee today we've been getting back into using our espresso machine because we fell off of it for a little bit just because as much as i love this thing it is so faulty sometimes and so hard to get perfect so, Kiko has been grinding it in with these, trying to get everything right and all like the, all the grind size and all that. So, I'm pretty sure he's got it. We're going to see if I can duplicate today. He's actually been using the scale, so. Okay, let's see if we can do it. <laughs> done with your breakfast okay mommy get you in a second okay okay just brewed my shots it actually looks really good so i got these two from sprouts the other day the coffee cake nut pods i heard was really really good so i'm excited to try these i know they're not sweet like at all so we're probably gonna add quite a little bit quite a little bit <laughs> quite a bit just to make sure i taste the flavor you know and if i have to add more i will a little bit of this oat milk Yes, baby. Mommy's coming. I'm gonna add some ice. I'm done. Are you all done? Okay. Love me a lot of ice, so. I'm done. All right. Little taste test of the coffee. Actually, pretty good. You can definitely taste the coffee cake. It's like a cinnamony flavor, kind of. That's pretty good. How's your breakfast? You wanna go play? So mommy can eat her breakfast. <laughs> okay, we actually just went on a walk and I completely forgot to vlog. <sighs> which I am trying so hard to get better at, is just forgetting to vlog things. But it was a nice, long walk. It's actually supposed to rain later today, I'm pretty sure. So we definitely wanted to get a good walk in before it starts raining, because Zeke right now loves, 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 loves to be outside. <laughs> Ever since he started walking, like he just loves to walk around and explore. And like our backyard, he could literally be out there for hours, just carrying around his little toy shovel and just like, just walking around, it's the cutest thing ever. But, I just did my makeup really quick. You got Rocco. You just brought Rocco the football. That's so sweet. Rocco is KO'd because he's exhausted from her walk. And yeah, Zeke's about to nap in the next 30-ish minutes probably. When he wakes up, we're probably gonna go to Target and meet my sister there for a little target date she needs a couple things and we have a family birthday we're going to tomorrow at my dad's so we need to get a couple things for that <clears throat> but and then i kind of wanted to go to old navy today and just check out the spring summer baby clothes i also wanted to maybe get him an easter outfit so we obviously will play it by ear on how zeke's doing but that's the plan as of right now during his nap probably get a lot of things done probably rest a little bit Maybe do a little bit of cleaning, organizing. What are you, is it stuck? Is your football stuck? You need help. You need this. You need this joint. Get your football. I love you. 
that's so sweet. You hugging your football. I don't know if I updated you, but I remember in maybe my last or a couple videos ago, I talked about how I might be hosting Easter. So I got a couple like cute Easter plates and stuff. But now I am actually hosting Easter. So I wanted to make little goodie bags for all the kids. And I just want to show you. The stuff I got to put in them. This is from Target, but from a few days ago. Eight grandkids right now besides Zeke. Zeke is the ninth. And Zeke has his own Easter basket, so I'm not making him his own like little um, Easter gift bag. But these are for the rest of the kids. So, so for a few of the littles, I got these scratch art. These are mainly all from like the dollar section at Target. But a few little scratch arts. I think this will be so fun for the medium aged kids. Oh, I got one more. For the two older girls, obviously they love making little friendship bracelets. So, got them a couple little friendship bracelet kits. And these are all, like I said, from the dollar section. So, such a score. For one of the younger girls, I got a little uh, mess free marker, a um, little coloring set. For the youngest little boy who's a few months older than Zeke, I got him a couple of these little. I'm not going to show Zeke because he's going to want it, but these toys that, like, you know. Easter gift bags also. I got these made good chocolate drizzled granola mini bars. This is a really good brand. Um, there is sugar in them and stuff, but no artificial dyes and colors and stuff. So love that. And then we got some good health white cheddar. I honestly love hosting. Like it just brings a lot of joy to my life and my heart, especially hosting all my family over <laughs> and all the kids and everything. Um, so like blessed to have the space and the home to be able to do that um because we have the big backyard where the kids can run around with Rocco and then obviously we can do like an easter egg hunt back there too which will be so fun that's the plan for now I need to change this little poopy butt and then probably put him down for a nap so I will talk to you guys after that all right Zeke is down for his nap he's been taking one nap a day so I can't say his first nap anymore this is his nap of the day it's like 10 30 so We've got probably like an hour and a half, give or take a few minutes. I'm going to clean up the living room just to like reset for the second half of the day when he wakes up. Okay, living room is nice and put away, which is always a great feeling. Something that was brought to my attention though as I was cleaning is that I haven't showed you our kiwico panda crate of the month yet but we got some activities in that zeke has been absolutely obsessed with if you don't know what kiwico is uh, i don't know how you don't know because i've talked about them so long on my channel we've been a part of the kiwico subscription since zeke was like first born since he got the very very first developmental little um activities and boxes and we have loved it ever since so here's our kiwico panda crate this is for the 13 to 18th month range this is the let's play box and we love it. Zeke loves it and as a toddler he is, he gets so excited every time we get a new box in because he knows that there are new things that he is going to love in here. Before I get into what's in our box, I just wanna talk a little bit about what the brand is and why I love it so much. So when I majored in child development in college, I learned so much about independent play and how important it is for children to discover the world around them, explore and just like engage in activities that help them discover the world. And Kiwico does just that for us. We love it. They have panda crate boxes ranging from ages 0 to 36 months. And the fact that we're already at the 13 to 18th month box, my son is growing so fast. <laughs> and something actually new about Kiwico is that you can now preview exactly what's coming in your next box. Rather than being completely surprised as to what's in the box, you can get ahead, learn about the different activities that come in the box, and learn how to specifically engage with them with your child. Every single month that Zeke gets older, I feel like the way that he plays and engages with things just develops every single month. And the things that come in the Kiwico boxes are perfect for him because he just engages with them so well. He 
is completely in his own little world when he plays and it is so fun to watch and also play with him and also obviously being a mom there's so many things you can deal with mom guilt about but having a kiwico subscription is not one of them because of the fact that i know that when he's playing with these activities he is playing with research based and research backed things that help him develop mentally at the age that he's at right now now for the best part i'm going to show you what's in zeke's crate of this month he's been already playing with all these toys so i'm not sure how everything's gonna look in the box but let's get into it so the first thing i love about these boxes is that it comes with the wonder play guide so this tells you exactly what's going on with your child's development in these months what's in the crate how to play with all the activities in the crate and engage with them and also there's a diy play lab that gives you even more activities that you can do with your child that is far beyond everything in this box and things that you probably just have around the house which is super fun that has come in handy for me because you're always looking for new things to do with your child when i opened this box i got so excited because first of all all the color made me so happy and all the things in these crates are just so high quality durable and you know they're gonna last and grow with your child the first thing is this pullback car zeke has been loving this this is so fun especially now that he's walking but even when he was crawling he was able to use these and he loved them next is the ball drop drawer this is super fun because there's so many different ways that your child can play with it so it comes with a little drawer comes with two balls and they can learn to use their fine motor skills and push them in the box and then they open the box and do it all over again it's so fun and he loves like sequence learning like that next is the wood pegboard set it comes with this little board with all of these different colored pegs along with all of these different colored little rings that your child can match the colors with. Zeke is not exactly in his color organizing and matching stage yet, but he loves to just put the rings on and work on his fine motor skills that way. And then it also comes with these bigger blocks that your child can learn to match eventually too. This has just been so fun for both of us, honestly. However, on the side is Zeke's favorite, favorite activity to do, and that is this baby. You've probably seen this in the background of my videos because it's been up in his room. He loves it so much. So it comes with these two balls. One of them is a little rattle ball, which obviously is a child's favorite thing. Also comes with this wooden hammer. He will just honestly carry this around if he's not playing with this specifically, and he loves this thing. It's been so fun to see him learn how to actually hammer the ball down once it gets to the bottom. There's a little door that you can either keep open or you can close and the ball comes out. You put it back on a little spot and then he hammers it back down and he loves it. So gratefully, I do have a discount code for you, which is for 20% off of your first box. And that is code Lauren. So you can head to the link in my description box below and click the link, use my code Lauren and get 20% off of your first box with KiwiCo. It's just such a great thing to engage in for not only your child or your children, but for you as a parent as well, just knowing that your child is playing with their developmentally correct items and growing their development. So thank you KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. Well, thinking I had an hour and a half of nap time was funny of me because he took a 30 minute nap, which he literally hasn't done in a long time. His naps are usually pretty good, so. He's still like rolling around, but pretty sure he's up. I did not get much done, but we're gonna go get him. After I eat a peanut butter cup. All right, Zeke is up, he is fed. I'm packing some snacks for him. Some P-U-F-F's, some smoothie bites. Teether granola bar, fruit pouch, and I'm gonna make him a little sandwich to go to. Hi, you're so cute. Are you playing with your toys? Are you playing with your toys? Okay, a little sandwich with some cream cheese, less of provolone, and then some turkey. And we'll just take this to go because I don't know what I'm going to do for lunch yet, but I might get lunch out while we're out. <clears throat> so it'll just be easy to have a sandwich ready for him. That is a little turkey, cheese, cream cheese, sandwich. This Uncrustable maker, guys, is the best thing ever. It's from Amazon. And I literally use it every day to make him sandwiches, whether it's PB&J, turkey cheese, or, you know, those are the only two I make him, but it's literally the best thing ever. And then, obviously, this doesn't go to waste, this outside part. Either I eat it or 
and give it to Rocco. And there you have it, your little turkey cheese. Uncrustable. His bites are so cute, I cannot. Hello, it is 2.30. We just got home. It actually started raining, so we cut our trips a little short, but we went to Target. I only got a couple things. What did I even get? I left the bag in the car because I was just trying to get inside, but I'll probably show you later, but literally nothing exciting. I was looking for like a toothbrush for Zeke, which I didn't have, and then some Jolly Rancher chewy bites, like random things, but I went with my sister, so we were just walking around pretty much. I also went to Old Navy, like I said, and I got two things. The drive over there was not worth it because it was raining. It's like a 20 minute drive, and it's Saturday, so it's like it's just so busy everywhere so yes it was worth it because we found some cute things but at the same time i'm like i could have ordered these online but got a little shirt for easter for zeke it's definitely giving mexico vibes but i think it's so cute and eastery has some easter colors and then i found these linen pants for kiko actually they were 50 percent off hi <laughs> don't touch it they were 50 percent off they're just like tapered pants but I just feel like he needed some more pant options, and as his wife, I decided to get some print. I hope they fit though, because I wasn't sure what size he is. Usually medium, but these look a little smaller than normal. Zeke is wearing his new Crocs that I got in the mail for him. Now that he's a walking boy, I just needed shoes. They were easy to put on, cute, functional. He got his first pair of Crocs, you guys, and they're so Stinking cute. I need to show you a close-up because the little gibbets I got him are adorable too. So he's just breaking them in. They're a little clonky, obviously, so he's falling a little bit. But can I see your shoes? We got him little white Crocs. Oh, thank you. The gibbets, a little Z, a little crab, which I just thought was so cute. And then a little fire truck, of course. Do you love them? They're just so cute. You gonna walk? Wow, sport mode Crocs. He loves them. Yeah, I just wanted to check in and show you the little things that we got. I love you. I change your diaper again, huh? Hello, good morning. It's the next day. It is Sunday morning, the day of a church. So, Zeke and I are heading there right now. Do I normally go solo without Kiko? No. Have I? Yes. So we're doing it because it's doable. It's just a little harder. I'll show you our outfits a little later, but we gotta go because it's 8.18, it starts at 8.30, but it's really close. So, I will see you guys later. All right, we are back from church. It was super good, but Zeke only lasted like yeah. 10 minutes in kids' church today and every day, but it's okay. So basically, I dropped him off at kids' church, went to service, stayed for worship, for like most of worship, and then got called out. So then I went and got him, and then we went into the family room and just chilled in there, watched service on the TV screen that they streamed there. My camera just died, but there was a few other little boys in there, like around his age, maybe a few months older. So that was super cool. So they were just walking around playing with toys, but now we're home. <laughs> I love He's gonna take a nap soon. And then later today, we're actually going to my dad's to see a bunch of my fam there and hang out. Oh, I'll show you our little church fits because I said I was gonna do that earlier. This is my fit. This jacket's Target. Just an oversized little denim shirt. Jacket, shacket moment. Actually, I think this is from Target too. This little sweater. Pants are Old Navy. And that's my fit. I just want a high top converse. Sweater is Zara. Pants are H&M. And he wore his little Amazon Vans, but that's the plan for right now. We're just chilling until he takes a nap. Hi guys, it's the next day, I believe. March 25th, it's Monday. It's gonna be the last day of this vlog, but I just wanted to vlog a few things today. Kiko got home this morning actually, which is so exciting. He's back from his shift, so he's home for four days, which is gonna be so nice. And we have a few things to do over these four days, but today we're pretty much just chilling, hanging out. I actually just curled my hair because I had time. And ever since I got it done, I just love styling it. It just makes me feel so much more put together. It's 11.30, he's at the gym right now, Zeke's sleeping. And yeah, I just got a couple things in from Amazon for Easter since, like I said, I am hosting. I thought I would just show you really quick. So I'm making a charcuterie board, obviously. That's like the thing to do if you host. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a cute little Easter themed charcuterie. 
and I ordered these. These are mini, mini little letter cookie cutters, I guess you could say. So this will be fun to like use for Zeke too. Um, eventually, I don't know what I would cut out of these, but it'd be super cute. But I also want to just use these to cut out like cheeses and do like a happy Easter or he is risen or something cute. So excited to use these. I always wish I had these when I make like previous holiday charcuterie. So excited. Little Easter bingo for the kids. Plastic serving utensils because we always need utensils and we always end up using like all my random spatulas and spoons and stuff which is obviously fine but it's gonna be so nice to have those and then this is a pin the tail on the bunny i believe but it was raining outside and got a little wet so hopefully it's fine inside this is also a little bit wet but it should be fine did i show you the couple things i got from old navy the linen pants that i got for kiko too small so we're gonna have to go back to old navy maybe we'll do that today and go exchange them for a bigger size i'm also very sad because my coffee spilled all over the living room rug today um luckily we got it out and everything but i'm sad because i really wanted that coffee actually so i might make a matcha in a little bit or a smoothie i can't really decide i'll probably make a smoothie i already had caffeine today i don't need extra so let's make a little smoothie i guess all right little smoothie <clears throat> we're gonna do some oat milk these little frozen fruit packs from costco it's like strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, spinach, kale. I'm gonna add a banana. A little bit of peanut butter. That's it, let's pray this doesn't wake Zeke up now. Only fitting to use my little strawberry cup. A little chunky. All right guys, quick pop on here to say thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Zeke and I both woke up with a little bit of a stuffy nose today, so I'm gonna be focusing on getting better the next couple days, but I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.